blog one people how's it going um not great day today out there sort of blue skies very cloudy anyway um i am gonna chat about two famous people that i went to school with and they lived in hazelmere um so the first one i will talk about is james gordon now everyone knows james gordon he uh <clears throat> he's, he, he lives in i believe he lives in america now he's done quite well for himself he's done a lot of like voiceover and cartoons done a lot of films the reason why i'm bringing this up was because last night i was looking for amazon prime and he come up on my amazon prime and i was like oh yeah so i went to school with james he was um a few years older than me i believe he was like eddie bates's age something like that anyway so james gordon i'm just gonna say the truth here he was a bully um, I think a lot of it was because he went to Jackie Palmer's, which was a school f to teach like kids how to act, sing, dance, and I think he just got a bit of a big head for it. That's that's how I saw it. He just thought he was better than everyone else because he had done a few TV adverts, worked on some shows, etc., etc. He used to bully someone that I know called Kirsty, and um, I'll tell you a little story. He he had he got one he got a moped. Because obviously he'd done his adverts, so he got money, and he got a moped at quite a young age. Well, I say at quite a young age. He wasn't young, young, but you know what I mean. He was legal to drive it. So we we were all down the park parade, and uh, a bloke called Mark Hall. He's about five years younger than me, I'd say, maybe six years younger than me. Anyway. He's, uh, Mark's down there hanging out with his mates, and James Corden has come along on his moped, and I, I think Mark might have said something to him, because of who he is, James Corden, you know, and then James has got quite nasty, and he's, um, he's basically, uh, started picking on Mark, and being really, really nasty to him, so... James, her, um, Mark's gone back home. He lived at the top of the link on a road called Roberts, Roberts Ride. And he's gone and got his older brother called Steve, Steve Hall. Now, Steve Hall could look after himself. He was known for, uh, he had a bit of a punch on him. Um, and a bit of a temper. It's a bit of a temper. So, obviously, when he found out, when Mark's gone home and said, I'm being picked on by um, James Gordon. Steve Hall's just ran down. I think, I think the, maybe it was the food hall. Because it was Nisa, then the food hall, then now it's the co-op. But it was it was rather Nisa or the food hall that was there at the time. Anyway, Steve Hall. So James James has got this helmet balanced on top of his head. Just so like it's like here. He's got his moped helmet on. And uh, Steve's gone down there and he's chinned him. <laughs> I'll never forget his helmet flew across the thing. And... Uh, James was put on his ass basically for bullying Steve's little brother Mark. Um, yeah, so that's James Gordon. I, I went to part school with him. I went to part school, and his sister was in my year. He was a couple of years older than me, and um, the family lived on this estate. Um, I don't think any of them live around there anymore, but yeah, they lived on this estate. So that was James Gordon I went to school with, and the um, the second one. That I'll mention was um, Laura Sadler. Now Laura Sadler, uh, she was in. Originally, I remember her being in the Mr. Blobby music video. She's seen walking down the steps, like that. Sit, Mr. Blobby. Let's. Anyway, um, then she was in uh, Grange Hill, and she was in. Holby City. Uh, she, Laura was a very pretty girl. I remember all the boys in middle school, so part school we went to. Everyone was always tr sort of trying to be with her, like on the playground, you know, be around her, flirting her. You know, she was a very pretty girl. Um, and yeah, so she, that's two famous people. But 
I've got to say, um, sadly, you, I mean, this, you can look this all up. Laura Sadler passed away, I think it was the 19th of June, 2003. So it's the same year Paul Warnock died, actually. Um, yeah, so she passed away then. She fell off of her uh, off of a balcony in London at her boyfriend's place. He was an actor as well. Um, and she had a large quantity of alcohol, cocaine and diazepam in her system. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That was two people that I went to um, middle school. There was another person I went to secondary school with who was kind of like, did a few bits and bobs. I mean, Ollie Bates, right, Ollie Bates, he he was in an advert. He tried to get into all that. But no, the, the other person at the secondary school was Ian Covington. Um, he played Oliver Twist in, uh, in the West End show in London. And he had loads of time off secondary school to do this. He's, he had a very good voice on him, very, very loud personality, very, you know, in your face, like shouting and stuff. Um, you know, really loud sort of, do you know what I mean, bubbly guy. Um, unfortunately for um, Ian, he uh, fell over, he got really drunk, fell over onto the road and got run over by a taxi. But he is still alive, but he now suffers from really bad mental health problems. I have spoken to him, I spoke to him about three years ago when I was on Facebook. Um, obviously, as most of you guys, or most of you guys know, I'm not on Facebook anymore. Anyway, so that's three people that I went, to, that I've known personally over my life that were famous, are famous. Um, that's it, really. That's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, yeah. So James Corden, <coughs> James Corden, Laura Sadler, and Ian Corrington. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, people. I hope you all have a blessed Saturday. Um, enjoy your enjoy your weekend. Kids are going back soon. Oh my God! What are you guys? What are you parents gonna do? Um, just want to say thanks to everyone for your support, for watching, for liking, and I'd also like to say thank you to Teresa last night for your phone call. She told me off. Told me I've got to stay positive. So it's like being told off by a school teacher. Um, it was really funny. Uh, thanks, Teresa. I do appreciate it. Um, all my all my supporters out there, I love you guys. Honestly, all my haters out there, keep watching because you're helping my views go up, man. I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, I see you guys soon. Yeah, you take care and uh, thanks for tuning in. Much love.